Hello everyone, this is Pahamar and Direwolf20 somewhere around here, and it is episode 27 of our Agrarian Skies Let's Play. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, there you are. Yeah, I'm here. I see you from on high. I'm crafting a wax cast. Why would you be doing that? It's one of the things needed to make some purple stained glass, and we need a thousand of them, and this is going to be painful uh, if I can't automate uh... this. Let's see, what was I going to do? Wasn't I going to do something with reactors? I think so. Hmm. I should get on that thing. You should. Get to work, Pahamar. No. I'm trying to figure out if there is a way to automate this. Hmm, that wants to go into that slot. That wants to go into that slot. How come everything doesn't want to go into the slot I want it to go into? I don't know. It's probably one of life's big mysteries. Yeah, it's not It's not a fun mystery, though. It's like, no, why would you do this to me? There's no way I'm going to craft a thousand of these things like this. Uh... Let's This might get very painful very fast. I'm gonna come and see what you're doing. Sense. Oh, you're trying to suck those out, aren't you? No, I'm trying to get them here. Check it out. If you look in here, this wax cast has to go into this slot. So let's see. Can I put this in here? All right, at least the sand goes into the appropriate point. So that's good. Um, so I can just, you know, move stacks of items at a time and we're good there. Um, so the sand is not a problem. It's the cast. See how the casts are all in the bottom? They're supposed to land mm -hmm. in the top there. And that's going to really quickly become a pain for me. I'm going to have to figure out a way to do this. Yeah, you have fun with that. Yeah, you have fun. I won't. I'm going to go make a reaction. I've got everything else going, though, I think. Oh, yeah? By the way, we're at 23,000 amaranth wood, and I think if we just give the thing, like, 10 more minutes, we'll be at 25,000, and then we don't have to worry about using that, that thingy. Sawmill? What? We won't have to use the sawmill to get more? To get more. Correct. Because you technically have enough right now to use a sawmill and finish that one. Yeah, but do you know how long a sawmill takes to chop up a piece of wood? Not really, no. It's about as long as the pulverizer takes to do stuff. Ah. Uh, I don't want to do thousands of operations of that. I just want to let it go for five or ten more minutes, let the golems do their work, and uh, then we can just have the autocrafter autocraft it into wood, and we'll be good. We're at like 23,000. We only need 2,000 more. And believe it or not, that won't be long. That might be five or ten minutes. I don't know what happened to the golem I had over here that was picking everything up, by the way, so I put down vacuum hoppers. Okay. Yeah. But the golem that chops things down is still working, so that's cool. You know how entities just like to vanish sometimes? Not particularly, no. Yeah. They're like, hey, I'm an entity and this is Minecraft, so see ya. That's officially what happens. I'm glad we have your professional um, take on that. I'm glad you're glad. All right, let me figure out how to best automate the purple dye thing, if there's even a way. I'll be back in a minute, guys, once I come up with a plan. Oh, and then Pahamar wants to do big reactors too, right? Yes, I'm glad you thought of me at the very last second. Good, I'm glad you're glad. All right, back in a minute, guys. Oh, Mr. Pahamar, how's it going? It's pretty good, but I understand you're feeling even better. I am. I think I'm ready to hand in a couple things here. What would you like to hand in? I, I imagine it has something to do with something purple. Yes, sir, that is correct. I've got purple wool, I've got purple stained glass, I've got purple stained clay, and I've got 100,000 amaranth blanks. Wow. Right? 
Like in your inventory right now? Uh, yes, I have 100,000 purple planks in my inventory right now. How'd you guess? That's incredible. Yeah, I installed this mod. It's called the 100,000 inventory slots mod. It's awesome. I'm surprised you haven't broken your back. That must be very heavy. Well, you know what? Here's a little known fact. Amaranth planks are lighter than air. Wow. So, like, I can make... Yeah. I can... Are they even better for, like, making little model airplanes than balsa wood? I'm going to say yes. Because I guess... I just decided that I don't have enough export buses, so I'm going to put more on. Because <laughs> I don't want this to take all day. There's a purple wool. Ticking down. Dang, I figured there's this the going to be a little bit faster. Wool's done. Now it looks like it's doing purple stained glass. Yeah, that's the one I had to manually craft. That was no fun. Yeah, a lot of shift clicking there. At least it was a thousand. It wasn't like oh, one hundred thousand. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't put a pastor. Right. Exactly. Stained glass. It's doing amaranth planks now. Nice. That's cool. Um, so while that's going, if you want, we can go look at. I think under the end quest. I just completed the Hydraulic Guild quest line. I did! Nice. And I'm going nice. to pick the middle bag. It was I'll just a bunch of crafting. I mean, it was just crafting, so I'm like, all right, there's nothing exciting there. One of the items I crafted, though, gave me a Fishing and Breeding by P. Sherman. What? Yeah. I got a 64K <laughs> storage drive. Did you? Nice. Yeah, no, I, I just put it in the A system. Fishing and crafting. Ooh, I got a yellow heart canister. I will take that, because yellow heart canisters give me more health. Oh, if only we knew how to make titanium. We kind of looked at it last episode, didn't we? Yeah, we did a bit, yeah, because I've got everything else to do it other than the titanium. Yeah. Oh, what, the industrialist quest? Yeah, you know what? I wonder if it is... That's a Bealizer, that's not a book. Steel... Steel crafting. Oh, 61% done on amaranth planks. That's what's up. I want to look into here and see what I might want to work on next. I mean, there's always bragging rights, which we'll probably want to do, right? Yep, I actually have some forestry be um, some forest bees producing drones for that one. Okay, cool. What do we got in there? What's what bee domination? You need a uh, hundred thousand forest drones. <laughs> Good times. You have fun with that. <laughs> well, let's see what the drone count is right now. Uh, well, unless you're uh, automatically about, putting uh, them into the quest already. Uh, we have close to eleven thousand forest drones. All right, not bad, not bad. Yeah, now. When we get later on into the bee stuff, um, you know, we can get some fertility modifiers and just start pumping them right. up. Hey, Purple Madness is done. I picked the left bag. I picked the right, because I always do. Oh, I got a structural Mark IV, no, Mark VI upgrade. Gives me 63 upgrade slots, that's kind of cool. Whoa. And 64 blocks of manulin. That's kind of neat. All right, let's look into my bags here. I've got a grader and an epic reward bag. Uh, the Same. grader gave me some leather with some enchants on it. I got some bacon jerky from mine. Oh, that's always fun. The epic bag got me... Ooh, I got you some bee stuff. I don't know if you need it. Do you have oblivion frames? Oh, yeah. We got loads of them. Okay. I got you a bunch of you. ethereal essences. Meh, boring. You can throw it all in the A system. Yeah, looks like some fell on the ground, too. Yeah, it kind of right. gave me a lot of them. Yeah, it, it does. All right, so guess what, dude? What? We what? just completed for the hoarding. That means a new end quest, doesn't it? Does it? It I does think, not. It doesn't? No. Um... Each of them require like a bunch of quests to be unlocked elsewhere. 
like the Diamond Ho one requires 12 quests to complete it elsewhere. I don't even know if we have 12 quests that can be completed elsewhere. <laughs> I guess. How many do we have? One, two, three, four. And five. Six, seven, eight. Uh, we have 14 uh, quests available for completion. Yeah? Yep, there's I guess 134 there are total. Or... We have completed 113. We have unlocked 127. There's 8 under bragging rights, though. I assumed bragging rights wouldn't be tied to anything. Could. It, it even says that they have nothing to do with anything. Well, while you figure that out, I'm going to build a reactor. Okay, I want to see that. Are you ready to build it? Where are you at? I'm over behind our power gen. Uh, behind our power gen. Ooh, fancy. So what are these blocks? Reactor casings? Yep, these are reactor yep. casings. This will give us a 3x3 three three space inside of here. We'll do that okay. just for now. Is this a bad like... place to stand for me? No, you're okay for now. Okay. Am I going to be inside the reactor? Um, eventually. Do I not want to be inside the reactor? No. Okay. Wouldn't it be cool if being inside the reactor meant that you got killed, like, super instantly? <laughs> what are you, Sorn? I, I, I don't know. I just thought it would be cool. I assume the multi-block just won't form if it detects an entity inside. But then you can do I that old trick that, that we always did with uh, railcraft tanks, which is, like, log out inside of a railcraft tank before it's formed, and then form it, and then... It's a good time. You Everyone have laughs. strange hobbies. Hey, I'm just reporting on things that work. I've when you log in, you're inside the rods. formed railcraft tank. Fuel rods, huh? Do they are they blocks that go inside? Or are they items? These are blocks, and you'll see shortly how this all works. I Did like you want it. Did you want to grab me eight buckets of liquid cryothium? Sure. Jellid Kyrothium. We have 32 buckets, by the way. Yeah, I made a lot of it. Is that a lot? I guess it doesn't use up the Kyrothium, then? No, it just oh, yeah, it acts just... to cool it. Uh, I did this. Yellorium fuel rods, huh? Yep. So. That's cool. Uh, okay, so this is a 3x3 three three internal reactor here. And okay. And... The Yellorium fuel rods are actually what hold the fuel inside of them, and I didn't mean to put this gloss here yet. Actually, just okay. give me a second. Let me clean this up, and then there's a couple more blocks I should put down below and build up the walls, because I'm I want to put the liquid. Cool. Okay. So, so the liquid see. actually goes in there as an actual liquid. Yep. Yeah, so it's a coolant. Okay. I can help by putting the liquid in there if you want. Not yet. I need to well, build walls when. first. Build some walls. Reactor access port. Neat. And you were saying that the colder the liquid, the more efficient it is? Yep, the colder the coolant, um, the better efficiency the reactor is. Okay. This stuff doesn't have to be glass, but it helps. It helps, or it just looks cool? Yeah, that's how it helps. Okay, it helps by making right. it look cool. You are free to put the liquid in. Am I doing it right? I'm only assuming where the liquid blocks are supposed to go. Yeah. Oh, we probably um, want more in there, don't we? More in there, don't we? I guess so. Yeah, we should probably go get some more. I can do that. So essentially, while you're doing that, I can explain this. Oh, wow, it is so cold, it's already making snow in here. So nice. the, the reactor works on... Um, you have these access ports, so they act as an input and output from the reactor. So you only need one, but I got two here, so we have one side that'll um, take the fuel into the reactor. Then you have one that takes okay. the one that takes waste out. You have a reactor controller, which actually controls the reactor. Imagine that. 
And then Thanks, just bro. here on the back, I put the power taps. This is where we'll hook up our um, redstone conduit. So this is where the power comes out. So I basically want to fill the inside of this thing, right? Yep. Cool. Just... I'm wondering if this is the way that gelid cryothium normally works or if it's being modified somehow. Uh, Since it's I think inside it the reactor. A normal liquid. Yeah, so it's being weird then. So the reactor is somehow recognizing that there's gelid cryothium in there and is like, nope. Is that cool? Might want. Oh, there we go. We're good. Nice. So okay. then inside of the space is where you want to put your eulorium fuel rods. So that's where the fuel is actually housed. And then at the very top, you have your reactor okay. control yeah. rod. Then okay. you just seal this up. Looking good. And that should have made it work. If I didn't just do that. Aha. Uh -huh. So now it's formed into its multi-block form? No, it... Oh, I wonder if it's because... I wonder if it's because of these reactor casings. Yeah, it was. There yeah. you go. I just saw that. So now we have a working reactor. Whoa, there's numbers. Yep, so right now um, we're... Apparently we're zero Celsius already. The reactor is offline. The fuel reactivity is 100%, but there's no fuel inside of there. And you can see these draw, um, these bars here that talk about the fuel status, the casing heat, the core heat, and how much energy is buffered out. Nice. As well here like on the well. left, you can see the uh, temperature, how much RF per tick you're producing, how much millibuckets per tick of waste you're producing. So right now, it just looks fancy. So I'm going to come over here to one of these reactor ports, probably the, the one on the right. And I'm okay. going to put in some eulorium ingots. That's the fuel. Okay. Here. I'm going to come over here That's to this other side, out. and I'm going to change this to the outlet. So you see, so you see this that? side here will output the waste into an inventory or pipe. This side here okay. will this take side. fuel in. So now all we need is some redstone conduits. Would you like to grab some for me? Sure. I'm also crafting a energy cell. Sounds good. I was actually just going to pump it into one of these ones over here. Did we want this power to go to the AE system? Maybe. Because then we can get rid of this lava dependency. Because we already oh, yeah, have yeah. a lot of redstone to power um, the lasers. I defer to you, whatever you want to do. Well, this thing's going to put out a lot of power. You'll see that very shortly. Yeah. And that design right there, that had three Eulorium fuel rods. Each fuel rod can hold four Eulorium ingots. You can actually fill okay. that entire space with them. And unlike IC2 reactors, these ones don't explode. At least Ooh, not right now. Is... This Might is be. a passively cooled reactor. Um, the re sole remaining quest was actually to build a turbine, and turbines are used in actively cooled reactors. You need one of these to reduce the fuel necessary for that other reactor. That's what that uh, plutonium, blue tonium is for. Okay. So anyway, just let me know when you're ready. I have redstone energy cells. Where do you want to run the power to? I can do that. There you are. Thank you. I'm just making a cell because I kind of like to see with a new reactor, like how fast it fills up an empty energy cell. So if you give me a minute, we should have one here. It's almost done. There it goes. It's cooking up the energy cell frame. Are you making a resonant energy cell? I am. Good. Because you said this thing spits out a ton of power, so I figured, why not? Yeah, you might be a bit surprised. Uh, I might be. And I mean, you saw how easy that was to make. I didn't do the crafting, but I saw how easy it was to put together. The hardest part of it is just making sure you had a lot of steel. Okay, I've got a redstone energy cell. I'm going to put it on the floor back here. Okay. Where's this power? Oh, you. I see. Okay. 
I was like, oh, what are you doing? It doesn't much matter where you want to put it. That's fine. I'll put it over here just so we can see how fast it fills. So I just want to make sure that it's set to input on all sides. So that way we'll definitely be getting power in there. Okay, I'm ready. You ready for me to activate the reactor? I believe I am. There we go. Now check out the interface here. Not bad. You can see yeah, that, see. okay, we are at uh, 1.4. So 1,000. Let me actually 1, set the input correctly. Okay. We are still we are. powering up. Yeah, so because yeah, we so only have the only... three uh, Yalorium fuel rods in there, we're getting 1,400-odd uh, flux per tick. Nice. So each one of those Sweet. puts out uh, close to f yeah, a little bit less than 500, maybe 450. So if we were actually to add more in there, I mean, you can quickly see how fast this um, grows. So this is a medium-sized reactor. I wasn't right. sure about building, sure about building um, a 7. A seven. Like a seven by seven by seven size reactor, size reactor. Oh, but I might decide to after this because yeah, this cool. is producing yep. quite a lot of power. Yeah, what are we going to use it all for? Well, I figured we could get rid of all that lava gen downstairs, and it'll probably speed up the world a bit. And up to the world. Well, <laughs> anyway, yeah. Now we have a pretty cool reactor running over here. I like it. Yeah, it is neat. Did you want me to punt it into our? Um, uh, lasers? Uh, well, the lasers are already running at full speed, unless we add more lasers. But honestly, we don't really need any more resources. The amount of resources we have at this point is kind of silly. I would agree with that. Like, well, if I were to look at it, we have like 10,000 redstone ore. <laughs> yeah, and that's not yeah, even... That's not... The, the nether redstone ore is the more valuable of the stuff. I know, and we've got like 2,500 of that. So I mean, like, we're pretty good on ores. Like, the fact that those lasers are still running is just because I haven't bothered to turn them off. Like, that's all it is at this point. <laughs> we are pretty good for resources, honestly. But what I can do right now, so like I said, this guy takes Eulorium ingots as input, and what okay. it produces as output is cyanite ingots, okay. which we've actually been getting as a quest reward. So we actually have this machine called a cyanite reprocessor. And let's see, it takes cyanite ingots as input. And what was the liquid it takes? Oop. You didn't see that. I didn't see anything. Okay, I'm trying to remember what the cyanide... Pro I think it's water? Oh, I'm looking at stuff. What are you looking at? Oh, you know me. Well, why don't we come back when I figure out how to use this machine? I think I figured out how to make titanium. Ooh, so uh, let's how to make molten magnesium. Let's, figure that, let's figure that one out. I had to figure out how to make magnesium, though. So hold on a second. Where does magnesium come from? Magnesium dust, magnesium nuggets. What's a flux drop? It's a flux drop. I don't know. Flux drop lets come from fish. Lime. Okay, what about quicklime? Quicklime comes from limestone in a crucible furnace. We have limestone. We have limestone. Yeah. We also have rutile ore, which is what's needed for the impure titanium. Okay, you're in charge okay, of you're titanium. Charge. Oh, am I? Yep. Yep. Gee, thanks, Paul and Mark. It's okay. It's okay. All right, guys, we'll be back in a minute after I figure out titanium. And I figure out plutonium. Mr. Direwolf, I figured it out. Oh, yeah? I did. Would you like to come down and see how to make plutonium? Uh, sure. You know, Should I record this too? Uh, if you'd like, I can restart this because I was already recording. Nah, that's fine. <laughs> Guys, we're so professional. Alright, Pahamar wants to show me plutonium, and I'm looking into making stuff with things. Alright, so earlier I made this cyanite reprocessor. 
So oh, the, look at that. that reactor Fancy over there, uh, it produces cyanide uh -huh. as a waste product. And we've got some from Quest right. Rewards. So this cool, cyanide so reprocessor least. takes water and two ingots and some RF power. Okay. And it goes in there. Yeah, it and goes in it processes. There. Yep. So the problem was cool. I didn't have the cyanide reprocessor set to accept water from the back here because we have an aqueous accumulator back there. Right. And there we go. Ooh, we got plutonium. Some plutonium. Look at that. Nice. I'm uh, I'm getting buckets of lava. I'm not sure how this block works, so I'm hoping that I'm right. If you want to come upstairs with me, over by our thermal expansion machines, up here. Whoa, jeez. This is a vat. Okay. I'm putting lava into it. I'm nice. not sure why, you got lava. See you got lava. but that's what it appears like I have to do, because what I need to get is a crucible furnace. And in order to get a crucible furnace, I need some burnt bricks, which require a vat with a brick and some lava. Or nether brick, actually. Do I have any nether brick? I think you got some nether brick. If not, I can make some. Like the, the cooked nether rack version of nether brick is what I meant. So let me just get one of those real quick, and I'll let the other ones cook up. So I guess I just right-click it in there. Oh yeah, look at that. Cool. Does it use up the lava? I'm not sure. We're going to find out. It should be quick, too. Like, eight seconds. Oh yeah, look, and it used a quarter bucket of lava. Cool, so I've got burnt brick. All right. So this is apparently how you make some of the magnesium that we want. Also, heating components are six silicon carbide which is actually not too hard to manually craft. Okay, so I just need another brick construction block. All right, so I'm gonna need six burnt bricks total. I'm ready to hand in a quest. No way. Guess way. Go on, which quest? Steam, turns out that we didn't need plutonium at all. Oh no? No, we just needed the cyanide ingots. I, I don't know if a quest update happened, but I swore we needed plutonium before. So do you want reactor glass, turbine glass, or reward bag? Uh, let's go reward bag. Done and done. I got two graders. Ditto. I got some fish stuff. I got a bunch of seeds. Fishing rods and some bait. And limestone. Sweet. Got the limestone? Got the limestone. Uh, sh I think we have a lot, don't we? Yeah, we got a lot of it from sifting. I mean, we have 41. I mean, we can get more. Uh, I think you can get it from sifting in a sieve. Yeah, some sand. So if we needed to get more, we could. Well, I got a full stack, um, so now you have 100. Oh, I'm putting a rutile ore in a crucible furnace. Get you a chance at some, 50%. Well, we are now done steel-powered flight. Nice, dude. By the way, I also got diamond horse armor with sharpness 5 on it. <laughs> well, that's some cool, uh, cool, cool particle effects over here on the vat. Yeah, it's cooking stuff up. It's doing a good job. So maybe we'll come back next time and start looking at mariculture a bit and figuring out all what we need to do to get titanium. I think so. I should also okay, look into sure. the... Uh, I think I'm on in the bees and trees. Yes. Let's see. I need to do some tree breeding. You do. And we have a little bit more cooking to do. I did put the thing that speeds up growth underneath our leaves, so at least we'll have faster lettuce production. Where did you do that over here? Oh, I can see particle oh, effects. I can see particle effects. Yeah, exactly. That's it. I should see how much lettuce we have now. I think we need... Do, do, do. We need a little under 40,000. But we get two hoes oh, out, out of it. Yeah, we got about another 12,000 to go. Sweet. So we're getting there. All right, I'm making the crucible furnace. No, I don't want to cook oh, my... I, don't want to cook. I put my quest book in there. Yeah, don't do that. That's probably not good. 
I'm good at things. You're good at all the things. All right, I've got a crucible furnace. I don't know Ooh. how to use it, Ooh. but I've got it. I'm wondering if it's a multi-block. I'm feeling like it might be. <laughs> because I place it down and it doesn't have an interface. See? Doesn't that look like something that would probably be a multi-block? It's already on as well. That's interesting. Interesting. That's also what makes me think it's a multi-block. Yay, multi-blocks! I wonder if it's listed in this crucible thingy. Let's see. Fish oil, fishing rods, rods, biomes, environment, aquatic environmentalizer, fish and fishing, automatic fisher, fish breeding, fish food, fish feeder, incubator, fish traits. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Um, Miracle. All right, guys, I think we're getting to the wrapping up point. We're going to have to research Mariculture a little bit and figure out how this crucible furnace works. I'm assuming it's a multi-block. Like, I'm strongly assuming it's a multi-block. Um, let's see. Basic Materials and Processing is a Mariculture book. So I want to go read that, and then we'll come back, I think. I think so. That's a good idea. All right, guys. So for now, this is Dial 20 and Pahamar signing off. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. Take it easy. See you guys.